Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. So there's a good chance that you would have been to at least one party in your life. If not, then uh, shame. You need better friends. True story. But if you've been to at least one party, you'll know that you find different people at parties. Now there are loads of different people and I can't touch on all of them, but I thought, you know what? I would talk about the main ones that I've crossed paths with. So without further ado, Lego. Becky, Ethan, Linda. Are we gonna play beer pong tonight? We're gonna play beer pong. We're gonna, I'm so excited I can't speak. <laughs> they are basically the life of the party. They keep things going. These are your like super extroverted people, your social butterflies. They can pretty much make friends with anyone or anything. Really? I'm pretty sure that if you like left them alone at a party with like a pot plant, they'd befriend that pot plant. These are the people that they don't need booze, they don't need music, they are just high on life. And Prozac, probably. Ah, uh, it's been such a hectic week, huh? I know. Ah, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it's good. Didn't you say you had a cat? You gotta love these people. They are, they are the people who, when they walk to walk into a party, they really, they don't care who's there, they don't care what's happening, whether you've got the queen there. Pff, the only thing they care about is your pets. Where are they, and can they go cuddle them? Most of the time, they can be found either like cuddling your cat Edmund or playing fetch with your dog Rover. And you know what? If you don't have pets, they are very likely to leave the party early so that they can go home to play with their own pets. Um, I've told him like a thousand. Mm. Uh, mm, mm. But um, didn't they say they were gonna be hot dogs somewhere? I'm one of these people and basically we're there for the food. We are the first people at the snack table. We are the last people at the snack table. We generally also don't say that much. Not because we're introverted or we don't have anything to say and we're not good at conversation. It's just really difficult to speak with a mouthful of chips or while you're busy licking the dip bowl you want a shot i don't care you're getting one <laughs> you get a shot you get a shot everybody gets a shot <laughs> these are the people who they're similar to the people who come for the food except they don't come for the food in fact i don't think they care about the food. Eating is cheating. They are there for the booze. They are usually the type that show up with like a whole trailer filled with different types of booze. Like at seven and at night, they're already busy drinking their double coke and brandy. And no, that wasn't a slip of the tongue. They legit drink a double coke with brandy. They are also the type of people who will drunkenly tell you that they love you at three in the morning. And that is why we need them. They're there for our self-esteem make us feel better about ourselves. <gasps> Becky! It's our song! Good you gang, good you gang, good you gang, good you gang. <laughs> Woo! These people, and I don't want to like generalize, but I'm going to. Most of the time these are girls, okay? And they are there to drop it like a tart, to twerk until the sun comes up. They and I kinda don't want none unless you got buns hun. And no, that made absolutely no sense <laughs> with what I'm trying to say. But uh, I guess when I think twerk, I think Nicki Minaj and my head just made that connection. They are there for the music, they are there to dance, they are there for their favorite song, which also seems to be every second damn song. They have a lot of favorite songs. I don't know why, but I do know that they won't let you forget it. Because every time their favorite song comes up, they make a noise that it hits a pitch that nothing else can. I kid. A baby's cry can hit the same pitch. It's like the sound of cats being murdered or nails on a chalkboard. They're also the type of people who really lose it. They really just freak out when Despacito comes on. It's like our anthem. I mean their anthem. I don't... I don't listen to Despacito. I don't like that song. I hate parties. I really, I hate them. Why did I come then? <laughs> These type of people, I really don't get them, but they're always at a party. There's at least one of them at a party. They are the people who come to a party and then they stay 
long enough to complain to pretty much anyone who will listen about how much the party sucks, how much they don't want to be there, how much they rather would have loved to stay at home. But then again, that's the same thing they said at the last party. Yet here they are. Again. So there you go, the different types of people that you meet at parties. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want more. And hit this video with a like. If you liked what I was doing, you can also dislike it. I won't be offended. I might cry myself to sleep tonight, but I won't be offended. And then also let me know what type of person you are at a party in the comment section below. Till next time, ciao.